All right, y'all, what's going on? So this is a quick tutorial on how to get rid of mice. I don't care how bad your mouse problem is. I don't care if you got 50 mice living in your home. I'm gonna tell you how to get rid of mice. This is a fail-proof way to get rid of the mice in your home. Um, the first time I did this is when I was staying in a, um, in this warehouse, not this warehouse, in this clubhouse. I was standing in this clubhouse. I was standing on top of it, on top of the clubhouse. There were four apartments. And downstairs there was a clubhouse, there was a dance floor, kitchen, a strip hole, a bar, everything downstairs. So that's where I was staying. Now, we had mice real bad. You know what happens when it gets cold, the mice start running in to people's houses. And that's what happened. That's what happened. So that's the first time I had to do this procedure. And it was actually the landlord, the owner of the, uh, of the clubhouse, who showed me this procedure. And it worked perfectly. The mice were bad. I mean, they was... Jumping on our counter, uh, getting the bread, trying to pull the bread through the door. You know what I mean? These mice were hungry. Um, and there was a lot of them, y'all. Like, it was crazy. So, um, this is what we did. And then, I ended up moving into this house. No, actually, my next house. I ended up moving into a four-bedroom house, and I ended up getting mice over there. That was the second time I tried it. Did the same procedure, knocked them out. The mice were bad over there. Nobody was as bad as the warehouse or as the clubhouse, though. Then... I came into this house where my roommate, you know, um, my roommate, she keeps the house okay, but as you can see, you can see in the background, she works a lot. She doesn't really, she has a lot of clutter and stuff, you know what I mean? She, like, you go to my studio room, that's the cleanest room in the house because she kind of has all her stuff everywhere else. Um, so, she ended up having a mouse problem here when I first got here, when winter uh, came around, the mice started running in. Because if you live next to a field or something or a lot of, gra a lot of grass, Mice are going to come in. Don't feel bad. It doesn't mean your house is dirty. You know what I mean? Mice can come into a clean house. It just happens. It happens at restaurants. It happens in buildings. It happens anywhere. A mouse is just a mouse that can just run inside, run outside. It's not like he's telling his friends, hey, man, this is it's a party over here. Sometimes they are. If your house is messy enough, they're going to find out. But it um, doesn't necessarily mean your, your, mouth, your house is a, a mess. Um, so when we came here in the wintertime, it got cold. The mice started coming in. Had to do the procedure again. Worked again, knocked the mice out. Now, we have another mouse problem because our neighbors just moved out next door. This is a duplex or a double, whatever you want to call it. And since they moved out, it seems like mice have been coming in. So I have to do this for, I have to do this procedure again. I'm not worried about it because I know how well the procedure works. Now, what I will tell you to do is if your house does need some straightened up, straighten up your house. Now, um, my roommate, this house isn't bad. It's just a couple, a little bit of clutter from my roommate, like her clothes right here. And she just, you know, those clothes just stay in the dining room all day. But other than that, the house isn't a mess. The bedroom's clean. The studio room, of course, is clean. The living room is clean, except for my, uh, my roommate's mess. She sleeps in the living room. She doesn't sleep in the bedroom. Um, so anyways, first thing I'll tell you to do, clean your house. Do the dishes, mop your floors. I ended up looking under the stove and it was trifling. So I am going to deep clean this house. Uh, before I really start laying these uh, um, this trap out for these mice. But before I do that, I just wanted to show y'all what to do when you're in this situation. One second. So, the procedure is simple. All you need is four things. First thing, the most important thing is decon. You want these decon pellets. Now listen, you don't want these. Make sure with a mouse in here. You don't want these. Okay? These do not work. This has been here forever and it hasn't caught a mouse yet. These do not work. Sometimes it'll catch like a slow mouse, a stupid mouse. But for the most part, mice do not fall for those things. But you will need these. They come individually packaged. You can get them at Dollar, General, Family Dollar, Walmart. They come in a different place. They come individually packaged just like this. You will need these. Decon refillable bait station okay so it's really to fill those but those suck you're going to need decon you're going to need a mouse's favorite snack peanut butter they cannot resist peanut butter get the cheapest peanut butter from the grocery store and they're going to love it get you some peanut butter that's two number three sandwich baggies you're going to need some sandwich baggies we're going to make these little mice a diabolical snack and number four you're gonna need a hammer. Yep, I know. It doesn't have to be a hammer, just something you can hammer something down with. Now this is what you do. You take these baggies, 
Now, if I was you, I would double bag them because when you get to using a hammer, it can make a mess. Okay. So double bag it. Actually, scratch that. Single bag them. Single bag them. That way it's easier for the mouse to get to. If you make a mess, just wipe off the surface that you're building this, this snack for the mice on. Okay. So what you do is get your plastic spoon. Right now I've got a fork, it is what it is. Now I only use this peanut butter for the mice. It's to set aside strictly for the mice so you don't end up poisoning yourself. Even though I believe on the bag, mice poison can't harm, harm humans. But still, why would you want to eat mouse poison? So this peanut butter is strictly for the mice. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to load this bag with peanut butter. Not a whole bunch, but a decent amount. Make sure they eat good. I mean, you want that final meal to be good. It's a death sentence for coming into my house. You broke the law. Okay. Get your nice little amount in there. A nice little chunk in there, right? It's okay for the peanut butter to be sticking out a little bit because that's what you want. You want the mice to know if there's peanut butter in here, right? And then you put the peanut butter in there. You squeeze everything to the bottom and then you tie it. Just like this. It's that simple, y'all. I promise you this will get rid of your mice. If you got bad mice problems, you want to make about 10 of these. Okay, there's a bunch of these that come in the bag. This is 18 of them comes in the bag. I don't remember how much these are now, but hey, this is a very affordable way to get rid of mice. Once it's in this bag, you take the hammer and you crush that poison in that bag. Be gentle because it can bust through the bag and then boom, you got poison all over your stove or whatever the surface. But you want to get in there and then you just want to mix it up. Now, this is going to get rid of your mice. Make a bunch of these, as many as you need, however bad your problem is. Where to put them? There's key areas you want to put these. When you have a mouse problem, you want to put these where the mice frequent, wherever you see the mice the most. Usually, it's a, it's a, a wet place in your house. The kitchen, under the kitchen, um, uh, the kitchen, the bathroom, those are two great places to put these. Anywhere you see a bunch of mice dropping, droppings, put these, okay? Behind your refrigerator, mostly, you want to put these in the, behind the refrigerator, wherever you see the mice frequent. If they're bad in your living room, if they're bad in the bedroom, you might want to put them outside before the mice even get to your house. Um, inside, um, put them everywhere. So your mouse, if you have a real bad mice problem, I suggest putting one or two of these behind the fridge, one or two of these in the bathroom, two of these in each room in key places, wherever their droppings are, okay? If you have it bad. Now, if your mouse problem is just, you might be have three or four or five, maybe just 10 mice or something, you can make four or five of these. Um, Put one behind your fridge, put one in the bathroom, and put two other, put the two uh, wherever else they frequent. If they're on the counters, put one of these on the counters. Now, well, let me tell you something. Every once in a while, you will see uh, when these mice get into here, there will, there will be just a dead mouse randomly somewhere in your house because they ate the poison. When you see them, they do start going crazy after they eat the poison. I saw one just going crazy. He started just yeah, having seizures and jumping up in the air. I said, and then he just died right in front of me. It was, it was very uh, dramatic, you know. But uh, that's what these are for. So I promise you, y'all, these will get rid of your mice. Decon pellets, refillable mice station pellets, okay? Decon, peanut butter, any type of peanut butter, the cheapest one you got, sandwich bag, and a hammer or something to hammer it down with. Put the, the pellets in here with some peanut butter, crush it, spread it around, so make sure they get a decent amount per bite, okay? And then you just throw it in the trouble area. I just threw mine by the fridge. I'm going to make about four of these, and our mice will be gone in a week or two. If your mouse problem is bad, give it a couple weeks, but I promise you, you will start to see a change. And I promise you, I don't care how bad your problem is, this will get rid of your problem. This is Ebenezer on the Hidden Channel. I'm signing off.